Uh, so you're going to find this really funny. I just made a video talking about making a video. So I just made a video talking about the two videos I made on Sunday and the amount of time that both of those videos took me to make. So the first one where I showed you a bit of the studio and then I had to edit it together and I did a bit of talky-talky and all that sort of stuff. It was a couple of hours to do that because most of what I filmed there was no point to it. It was either a doubling up on things or it was showing the uh, duct tape and bailing twine that's holding everything together. And we didn't really want to do that because it defeats the purpose of creating something that looks great from one angle if you're then going to show it from an angle that indicates that it's a cardboard cutout. Look at a lot of film sets and things like that. The sometimes when the, the the camera moves a lot and then they show shots where the camera's not moving part of the reason for that is that they don't have a set full of planes or they don't have a huge cg budget so they literally might have a cardboard cut out of a plane sitting there and from that exact angle it looks fine they might have a whole field full of them and from that exact angle it looks fine because the shadows are correct and everything's correct but as soon as you move the camera it, it ruins the illusion so me not showing most of what was in that video except you know what's behind the curtain was you just want to see what you want to see you don't really want to see that it's you know crap duct tape to the ground and holes drilled through things and stuff like that the second video I did off the cuff, while it's not true, the video that you saw isn't the one that I did off the cuff. The video that I did off the cuff, I just I just jammed my old Sony camcorder on the thing here and I recorded a video and then when I got to the end of it, I realized that I didn't record it. So I then cursed a bit and then made sure it was recording and then made sure all the things were in it that needed to be in it and then I recorded that video now that probably took about 20 minutes so a couple of minutes to not record anything and then a couple of minutes to make sure that i was going to record something then a couple of minutes to record it then i had to set up the uh the title card because um i had to set up the title card because i didn't have a title card i didn't really have a title for that video at all i didn't even think about it because it was off the cuff i was going to leave it blank but then i decided i wouldn't leave it blank so i just called it blank now the title of this one is just because i like the saying a day late and a dollar short this isn't about the dollars at the moment but the day late part of it is completely correct so that was the video i was going to make yesterday was about the difference in time which is why I've decided to make videos this way and just speak warts and all I mean I don't have any warts do I but vocally so I get used to not saying so and but and and, and um, um um I mean like you know I'm not a valley girl no, that sort of sounded like a cross between a poo and a valley girl but anyway anyway See, it's a fill word. You want to avoid fill words. So I sat down, made a nine minute video just before this one. And the music was way too loud. I didn't adjust it up there because I'm trying to not look up there because it just looks weird. I'm talking to you, so I shouldn't be looking elsewhere. So I adjusted the volume on a separate device which really only changes what comes into my ears. It doesn't change what goes onto the recording. So, recorded it again. I might have said some funny stuff. I might have said some good stuff. Um, but at the end of the day, the music was too loud. And because most of us watch videos like this, um, the sound quality wasn't good enough. The, the the music was way too loud. Probably nobody would have been able to hear it. In my headphones, I could. Got really good clarity. But my earbuds don't. All I probably would have heard is music. So I haven't really got much else to say. Except 
I have no legitimate excuses still. I've mentioned this before. There's no legitimate reasons for me to not come in here and make videos. This is what I want to be doing. This is what I love. So I should be able to find time every day, even if it's only for a three minute video, to sit down and say, hey, this is what's happening. Hey, this is what's not happening. Hey, I haven't done anything. Which is are all perfectly legitimate things to put into a video because you look at a lot of YouTube, it's people basically talking nothing about nothing. So doing a bit of that's probably not that big a deal. And at the end of the day, we all do need to find time to do more of what we love because unfortunately it gets filled with work and all sorts of other stuff that is just not necessarily... I mean, it pays the bills, keeps a roof over our head, keeps foods in our, uh, in our gullets, but shouldn't be what we live for. Yeah, so no legitimate excuses for not making these videos. Um, yesterday, I was just completely disincentivized by adding an extra uh, orifice to my body that's not meant to be there. I uh, opened my uh, finger up, you know, not like this. Um, I opened my finger up on something that's sharper than the skin is strong. Uh, so I spent fair bit of time at the doctors getting some uh, sutures in it if you want to see it let me know I'll I don't know show it I don't know what what Facebook's like with uh, gore but I was just disincentivized last night do I have an excuse for the night before that eh, not really it was a long day been very very busy at work and there's the crux there's the the the, the issue with everything, you get really, really busy at work and then for whatever reason, you don't find time to do things. You don't spend time find time to spend QT with your family or QT with yourself or just looking after yourself. Have a warm bath, have a bubble bath. I don't like either. Plus, the bath's this big. I'm this big. Doesn't really work all that well. Stand in the shower for 20 minutes. I mean, the water that comes out of our pipes is like 90% asbestos and, and dead frogs. So it's not like it's really that much water anyway. Um, so the reality is I sp there's more hours in the day than I fill with stuff. Whatever I'm filling the day with, whether it be work or some other work or a bit of workity work, or just on my butt watching the idiot box or trolling through the comments on FaceTube. There's more hours in the day. I could be doing other stuff. But I haven't been. And we all could probably do with a bit more sleep. Although, in saying that, I'm going to leave you with a... a uh, inspirational quote from a great man you can look him up if you want or ask me who he is but I used to live my life like this not because of this but it just turned out that I lived my life this way and didn't really think anything of it but as I'm maturing it's a lot more difficult to do that but here it is be excellent to each other